Go. Oh, that go, was a go. That was a, go, go. We're going. <laughs> yeah, we're live. Ready or not, that, here that we a, come. That was a very long. Uh, I was delay. just. I was ready to go uh, immediately. <laughs> ready to go. It says that it was five days ago. Five days ago. <laughs> yeah. We're live. I think. Oh, there it is. Like the fourth one on the list for some reason. Because why? We're live with SDC. Wrong thumbnail and everything. Hello from your school library. Um, hopefully I'm not too loud. I want to be, I, if you don't have headphones in, I really don't want to be loud. And I get J-trains in trouble. For being too loud in the library. Hello, j -train. Okay. <laughs> Just gotta be like, hello, J-trains friends. Up coaster creations, Silas, J Trains, you know, the fam. What's up, friends? These are my friends. We're going to continue with Thunderation because I want to get this done so I don't have to do it anymore. That's uh what we're gonna do. We need fluff balls. Well, you're on the wrong stream for that. Why isn't Fluffy streaming? Um, you can ask him yourself. I haven't gotten the message about it yet, so um, we might uh, we might we might work on the Wendelverse Park later as well. So should we finally work on the Wendelverse? The Discord <laughs> side? Yeah, we, we need to work on that. Because we haven't done that in, like, months. Well, I want to test it out. We need to, we need to do, like, a full-on test. Oh, by the way, how did I uh, prove overtime without proving overtime? Um, I don't know, you're going to have to ask your employees about that. <laughs> Alright, I'm firing them. You're firing? Just going to fire them? Yep, they cost me sixteen hundred dollars. <laughs> so yes, I'm gonna fire What's them. What's up, Coaster Gnome? The point up there was the definition of credits you want to be as consistent about and don't pick on uh, the point of credit lane. Like I said, credits are personal preference. You count whatever you want because they're just meaningless. Well, they're meaningful to you, but they're meaningless. Uh, <laughs> Uh, numbers. <laughs> yeah, they only mean anything to the person who's counting them. Because it, it's just personal preference. I'm not trying to say your credits are meaningless, or useless, or pointless. But, <laughs> you know, if you tell a GP about it, if they're not enthusiasts, they do not, they don't care. <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna let you know that much. The only other people that will care maybe are other enthusiasts. Maybe. And then you guys, then you'll just argue of what actually is a credit, so. <laughs> for me, my, I, for me, for me. You know, and, you know, you got your normal coaster credits. I think that relocated rides do not count um, because they are in the exact same coaster. They're just in a different location, same track, same same everything. Um, so why would I count it a second time if I've technically already been on it? So me personally, I wouldn't count that. Retracks, such as like Incredible Hulk. I would not count as a new credit as long as nothing was 
actually really changed and all they did was replace the track um and you're saying like oh everything's been changed everything so that should count as a new credit so that's a valid argument however the reason why i don't say that is because if you look at wood coasters let's say outlaw run voyage or whatnot they replace sections of track every year eventually all that track's going to be replaced from the original track why wouldn't that count as a new credit if if that's your argument so um if it's still in the same footprint and all they did is replace the track you know track gets replaced all the time you know if needed you know it's still the same ride um so that gets you to your point what about cloned rides um i count separate clones as credits so if two different boomerangs i count that as two credits um to me that's a little bit different you know because it's not they're not the same ride and if they were to replace the track of that ride then it's still the same ride to me so but I can see why people would make the argument, you know. I'm not going to discount people's opinion or debate on that. I can understand why people would want to count those as extra credits as well. But <clears throat> So, if there was a full official rule book on credits and stuff, then everyone would have no debate at all. But since there's not an official rule book on what is or isn't a credit, it will remain just personal uh, preference. So, um, count relocations as credits unless they are fairground just because they are meant to be moved around all the time. See, to me, that doesn't make sense. To me, if you don't count fairground rides and they get moved all the time, what's the difference between that and moving a permanent ride? I, I need to I need that part. What's the difference? What is the difference between that? That's that's my Nothing. question to you, Silas. Like, if you move this ride, yes, it's meant to be moved, and you move this other one that's relocated. That's still the same thing. Just one really isn't. You know, it's more of a permanent, but it's still able to be relocated. You know, because I was I was about to say something along those lines. Say you, know, you have. The same coaster. So let's take I don't know Powder Cake for just example. Let's say for a second. Let's say you take Powder Cake and you move it to the right by one foot. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's relocated. Is that a new coaster? See, to me, it wouldn't be. It's still the same, right? That's why relocation stays. It, to me, relocation you stays. Think of it that way. Wow. Locations are the same coaster to me. For instance, like I said, the one at Glenwood Caverns used to be at Celebration City. Uh, I don't know what it's called now. At the Celebration City, it was called Thunderbolt. Um, I rode that. If I was to go to Glenwood Caverns and ride it again, I would count that as the same credit. I wouldn't count that as a new one. Yes, it's in a different setting and everything, but it's still the same coaster that I had ridden before. Same track, same everything. So... That's that's me though, because I'm like it's it's still the same ride. Nothing's changed about it except the setting that it's in, except for the different uh, spot it's in. Because it's still the same coaster. It's still the what it was before. It's just in a different location. That's me. If you want to count it as a new credit, I kind of count that as cheating, saying giving you some extra credits. <laughs> But, you know, that's me. I still find it the same. That's just a way to get extra credits, in my opinion. Like, oh man, I, I gotta up my credit count. I'm gonna make this count. <laughs> me personally, I'm at 128 RMC conversions. We'll go into that. That, to me, is counts as a new credit because there's really not much left of the original ride. They just kind of recycle maybe footers or parts of the support structure a little bit, but the layout completely changes, and it's just it's a completely new ride at that point. So to me, that's different from a complete retrack, like, say, like, Hulk, where all the track is completely the same, 
and it's basically just a renovation. To me, that's just a renovation of the existing ride. Um, when you RMC something, you're completely creating a new creation from re by recycling what a little bit of what's already was there before. <clears throat> So if you want to recycle like a few supports and stuff and footers to me, that's fine. It could still be a new credit at that point. Now, the, the toughest discussion for me, the one that I'm kind of unsure of of which side I'm on is if you have like a floorless conversion, say like Mantis to Rougarou. Um, to me, I don't know. I re I've never had to count anything like that before. Like, I never rode Mantis. I've only ridden Rougarou, so I don't have to worry about that. But if I ever got into that situation, would I count that as a new credit? Um, and it's really... Because you get completely rethemed, but the trains are different. Now, think of it this way. If you've ridden, say... Uh, the first one that comes to mind, Son of Beast, that got different trains throughout its life... You don't count that as a new credit, right? Same with like, um, you know, like if you go from PTC trains to GCI trains, um, you wouldn't count that, right? So basically, Mantis to Rougarou just got new trains and a repaint and a retheme. So to me, it's, it's I, I, I guess I would count it as just one. I don't think I would count it as a new one. It's a new ride experience. However, the only thing you're changing is the trains. And again, if you change, like, wooden coaster trains, would you count that? You would have to count that as a new credit, too. So if you were, like, say, Voyage change from PTC trains to the Timberliner trains, that would have to count. If you count that as a new credit, you would have to count that as a new credit as well. If, if you ask me. And, yeah, it's still the same track. Everything's still the same. Uh, it's just new trains, so, and yes, it's a different style of train, but, but some people count it as, you know, new experience, new credit, and that's totally fine, too. You know, if people want to count that, they can. I don't think, personally, I would. If I was, if I had ridden Mantis before Rougarou, I don't think I would count it as a new credit. I don't think it's a big enough change. Um, It's just a theme change and a train change. That's another thing. If you get a theme change, does that count? Because that technically would be a new experience, right? Um, I wouldn't count it as if it still uses the same track and still uses the same layout and everything. That goes into another debate here. Say, like, the situation with Hades to Hades 360. They added, they changed the elements a little bit. You know, there's an element change or they remove an element. Say, like, Boss at Six Flags St. Louis removed their, they removed the, um... Uh, Helix at the end. Uh, same with Timberwolf at Worlds of Fun. They actually removed a section of track two. Uh, so the layout has changed. The rest of the layout's the same, but the layout's changed. Does that count as a new credit? Um, that one to me doesn't, because I didn't count Boss twice. I've ridden Boss since they... Wait, did I have a... Yeah, I've ridden Boss since they've made the changes to it. I don't think I counted it. Um... And it just, I don't know, it's just kind of weird, like, and another thing is, do you count lightning rods uh, as a new credit as well? You know, with about 50, over 50% 50 of its track got replaced with steel track. To me, that one doesn't count, because, you know, it's kind of a similar situation to Hulk, in my opinion. They just retract it, and it's just got brand new track. No, the layout hasn't changed, nothing's changed in it. Uh, except it just got an upgrade in the track. So, um, I wouldn't count that. The, the s sketchy one to me is literally just the, um, like if you add an element or remove an element, that one's I'm kind of like on the fence about. I really don't know if I would count it. And if I do, I need to add a couple of, uh, counts to my credit because I would have to add the changes to boss, um, which removed the, uh, helix. That would up me by another credit, but I don't know if I count that. I don't know. I don't know. And then like Hades 360, I never got to write it before the inversion, but um, I don't know if I would count that or not. I'm really on the fence about that one because I'm like, it's it's a it's a change to the layout and it's a 
you know, it's not a huge, it's a huge change, but not a, like, a huge change. Like, most of the layout's exactly the same. Ugh. But I can, I can agree, like, I can, I, I can understand why people would want to count it. I could understand why people wouldn't want to count it. It's a, it's, I don't know. <laughs> Do you guys think? Oh yeah, Jake, I forgot to message you back on that. I need to get that to you. Sorry, I haven't been ignoring you. I just keep forgetting to message you. AKA he's ignoring. Yeah, AKA I'm ignoring. That's me politely saying I've ignored. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I, I get really bad at that. That sometimes on. Uh, on DM sometimes I'll read it and I'm like, oh, I'll respond in a, in a minute and then I completely forget and uh, I, I do that all the time and I feel bad about it. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking from experience over here, it just does me all the time. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. Um... How does this emerge? Alright, how much have I done? I feel like I haven't done much, but I have done a lot. This turnaround's gonna suck. <laughs> it's so sprawled out. I still gotta do footers, too. Ugh. <laughs> uh, uh. Why did I go this in detail with this? Why have I decided to do this? I don't know why we decided to do this. Top to drill extra gets an LSM launch. I, it, oh, that's a good question. That's a good like. There are, these are the questions, man. I'm probably gonna have to do that too because I'm sure I'll go back to Cedar Point at some point when Top to Drill is reimagined. Um, hmm, that's a good question. That's a good question right there. Top Thrill Dragster. Now, if it if it's different enough, they retheme it and it gets an LSM launch. If they were to add on, I don't know because then I'm like. If I do that, ah, I don't, I'm so, this is, like, this is the one part, like, that I, I'm not sure about credits. Like, if there's a slight change, if there's a slight change to the ride, like, or kind of like half of the ride's changed or something like that, does it, does it count, you know? And, now, if it's just the, the only change is an LSM launch and that's it. You know, I don't think I would count it as a new one. I really don't think so. That's the thing. It's hard to be consistent. That's the problem. Uh, like I said, that's the, the one one. That's the one I'm kind of on the fence about is like if there's a slight change to the layout or a slight change to the ride experience, you know, where it's they're still using uh, a lot of their original bits of the ride that's the one i'm on the fence about that i, I can't i can't figure it out I'm, but i'm i'm gonna have to <laughs> like if they remove if they keep the tower and just do lsm i don't think i would count it as a new credit same with like hades 360 i don't think i personally would count it as a new credit i know some people would and i totally understand why they would I'm not gonna argue about it if you do like that's totally fine and i can understand it um but me personally i don't think i would count it the new coaster no, no, no. now if okay. they were to add like the five like the stupid rumored like the most <laughs> far-fetched rumored of uh the 500 foot spike that everyone keeps talking about and like an extended layout i might count it as a new credit just because there's so much different about it and the only thing that's remaining is maybe the tower. <clears throat> like the the top hat. Like, th at that point, I probably would count it as a new one. Because it's so drastically different. 
by that point, it, that, everyone would be losing their mind. Because here's, here's the thing. If they add the spike and also extend the layout to where there's, like, more to the layout after the, uh... Um... After the top hat, you know, like they add more of the layout there. Then, yeah. I think I would change it on, on that term. Because at that point, it's nearly almost like an RMC to where they recycled. And that goes to another thing. Like if you rose Buzzsaw Falls going into Powder Keg, there's still parts of the track that are still there. That's another good one. What about bus or what about bus off fall slash powder keg? To me, that's a new credit because it's just so different enough. Yes, it reuses about half of uh, bus off falls track, but there's so much new coaster track there to me that it's it's a completely different ride. Um, like that one's completely different. It uses the same track, but it's so. It's so drastically different that I just can't count it as the same credit to me. Like, it's kind of like you you left, like, this part of the track, but you added a whole entire new coaster around it and just put that in the middle. Like, yes, it reuses it, but... Right experience. That's not what I'm saying, like... It's not right experience that's making me make that decision. It's just how much has changed. Like, it's not even close to being the same ride. That's why I would count that one. It To me, here's my answer. Here's my answer. To me, it just depends on the situation. Like, I'm trying to be consistent, but to me, it just depends. You add, like, one element or change one element. Nah, that's about the same. If you change about 90% of the ride, like, powder keg, like... There's so mo mo about probably about 80% of the ride is literally all new. Um, like completely new layout track and it, there's nothing like the layout's not the same. It's a completely different layout from Buzzsaw Falls. It doesn't use anything except for that turn and the lift hill. That's all it is. A turn and a lift hill. That's all that's left of Buzzsaw Falls. A turn and a lift hill. Like, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> so to me again it just depends it really just depends on the situation oh my gosh Matt Ryan's out for the season he is? yeah I didn't know he got injured he's uh, I guess he suffered a grade 2 shoulder strain and again I'm not counting ride experience Coaster Dome I'm counting about how much of the ride has changed and what's left of the ride. And again, for Top Throw Dragster, if they just replaced it with an LSM and that was it, I would still count it as the same one. If they added like a ton more to the layout and a 500 foot spike, to me, I'd probably count it as a new one. It just, to see, to me, it's, it just depends. Just depends. Really just depends. What percent? There's not like a percentage. Like it, like it just, like I said, it, it just depends. For instance, so you're telling me, Coaster Gnome, you're telling 1%. me, you're telling me, and I understand your argument here, but you're telling me if you keep one small track piece, and I mean like <laughs> a 10 foot piece of track piece and reuse that one piece on an entirely new coaster, but you just re recycle that one piece that's going to count as the same credit? <laughs> Definitely not. Like, I Definitely completely not. build this entire new ride, but I'm like, you know what? That one track piece is in a good spot. We can reuse it. That one tiny spot. <laughs> we, we're we going to count it. You can't count that as a new credit? Because that's kind of how, what Powder Keg is. Yeah, it's more than one tiny little piece, but like, you're literally just reusing, mainly just reusing a lift hill. That's it. <laughs> and like one, one small turn. So. Fascinating. I've never seen somebody so wrong before. I'm just 
But yeah, that, that's why I say it just depends. It really depends. Again, I don't think I count Hades 360. Not enough has changed. Boss at Six Flags St. Louis, has not enough of the layouts changed for me. Uh, so those all count as the same credits. And this is why I say I'm on the fence of this stuff. Because it really does... It's It really depends. I know it's wishy-washy, but it, like... To me, I can see both sides of the argument. That's the problem with me. I look at both sides of the argument, and I think there's valid points on both sides. <laughs> so that's why I'm kind of in the middle, and I just kind of, like, make my own decision if it counts or not. But yeah, to me, there's not really a percentage, but it just depends. Again, I don't want to, I don't base it off really a variety experience. I base it based off of like my own personal opinion, I guess. It's all just personal preference. Like an exact percent of what needs to be replaced. We need hard definitions. Like I said, there's no rule book for credits. There really isn't. Maybe I should write one. Somebody should write a rule book and everyone has to obey it. <laughs> but then again, if someone made a rule book, some people would disagree with some of those and still it wouldn't matter to them. That's the issue you would probably run into. Like if I had to, oh. the person writing the rule books would put in their own opinions. Or. They could actually do a voting system. That would make sense. Hey, does this count as a credit? That would be an idea. And then they can do a voting system and vote what counts as a credit. I just saw a little fun fact that Sam Ellinger will be the Colts' seventh different starting quarterback under Frank Reich since 2018. I go to Class C. I see you, Jake. Yeah, Andrew Luck, Tupelo Brissett, Brian Hoyer, Philip Rivers, Carson Wentz, Matt Ryan, Sam Elder. Hey, hey, welcome to the stream. Like, that's why I said maybe if we were to do a rule book on credits, you do a uh, voting poll on each uh, debate, if that makes sense. Like, hey, if something gets completely retracked, but it's the same ride, but the entire track gets replaced. Does that count as a new credit? Yes or no? And then we have a vote, whole voting system for that one question. And then the majority vote obviously wins. <laughs> like I said, if you disagree with something that I may think uh, that is a credit and you disagree, that's totally okay. I really don't care. Like, if you... <laughs> you count credits the way you want to. That's basically how it is right now. See? I If I want more credits, I could count um, Larson Super Loots as credits, like Six Flags does. Just saying. I could count those. Because... I personally, what if I personally think that's a credit? <clears throat> What's the point of credits, right? Bragging rights. In my opinion, <laughs> that's all it is. Oh yeah, I've been on this many coasters. How many have you been on? I think it's literally just kind of bragging rights is all it really is. Or personal goals, you know. <laughs> That's really all I think it is. That's really all it is. I've been on over a thousand coasters. How many have you been on? Twelve. <laughs> like, I don't think my coaster counts that great. I mean, I'm at 128. Compared to, like, a lot of coaster enthusiasts out there, that's not anything. I mean, mine mine's grown a lot in the last few years, so... I mean, I got plus 20 on my in February from my California trip. I got 20 co credits. 
Could have got more, but not everything was open. I think some... I do think some enthusiasts go a little bit too far with credits. Like, they throw a fit if they can't ride a kitty coaster. Like, bro. Get over it. Like, it's a kitty coaster. <laughs> you're throwing a fit because you're too big to ride a kitty coaster. You a... You a grown adult throwing a fit that you can't ride a ride that was designed for little children. <laughs> like, listen to yourself. You know, I've never been on an SLC before. I heard they're fun. I heard they're just a, a blast. Ah, uh, camera, what are you doing? I mean, I never really counted coaster credits up until the last couple of years, and I had I had a pain trying to figure out how many credits I had as a kid because I was like, "Oh crap, I rode all these coasters," but I never kept track as a kid. So, like, I had to go into RCDB and like, "Okay, I've been to all these parks in my lifetime. Which ones did I ride?" Because that's another thing I had a tough time remembering. Like, I've gone to Frontier City. But going on RCDB, I couldn't remember exactly which ones I rode. It was such a long time ago when I was a kid. Uh, I just remember really hating that park as a kid. I thought it was awful <laughs> and sketchy. <sighs> what do you think about clones as one or multiple credits? I think clones are multiple credits. As long as uh, as long as they're in different parks and everything, they're, they're different credits. Like if I ride two different boomerangs, it's multiple credits. Now, if a clone got relocated somewhere else, to me, that's still the same credit as where it was before. So, say uh, I ride a boomerang here and it gets relocated to a different park and I ride it there. To me, that's the same credit. I don't count that as an extra one. Because I don't count relocations as new credits. Because it's still the same physical coaster. And then, as you know, I've said I don't count retracts as... Uh, new credits either so that's kind of so what if so it, maybe your argument is what if this ride got relocated but it got completely retracked that's a whole nother debate that well does it really count as a relocation at that point if it got completely retracted in the process of relocating because then there's nothing left from relocating it because you didn't relocate it technically. That's just building a new ride at that point, right? So that wouldn't even make sense. <laughs> so I guess that one's kind of invalid. That doesn't make sense. That that situation would not even make sense. Because if you retract a relocated ride while relocating it, then that's just a new ride. Because, well, you're not relocating anything at that point. Why would you even... You wouldn't even need to relocate anything. You're just building a new coaster. I guess if you reuse the supports, I guess. I don't know. But I don't see that situation ever happening, so I don't want to get into it. <laughs> yeah, but we're, I don't count ride experience as a new credit. I count the physical ride itself as a new credit. Because it's not the same boomerang that I rode in this other park. It is a clone, but it's not the same ride. It is the same ride, but it's not the same physical ride. <clears throat> it's 
Stand up to floorless, I don't think I would count because it's just a train change. And if you think of like wooden coasters have gone through train, like there's a lot of coasters out there that have gone through changes in the train. For instance, if a wood coaster went from PTC trains to GCI trains or Timberliner trains, would you count that as a new credit? No. I don't know if anyone really would. There might be someone that would count that as a new credit, but I don't think that would. Like, you're just it's just a train change. Yes, it changes maybe the ride experience a little bit, but I don't think that, that doesn't really count. Yeah, I, again, I don't count ride experiences. Just because it got rethemed or new trains or something like that. The layout's still the same. Nothing on the ride's been changed at all. Um, you know, I don't know if I don't know if I'd count train changes. Locations, credits, fine, but I'm sticking with anything. And see, it doesn't really matter because, again, it's all personal opinions of what you think. Oh, yeah, that is true. Every time you rewrite a coaster, it's a new experience, especially if you ride something like Time Traveler. You get a different type of ride on every single ride because that is a spinning coaster and the ride experience changes any time you ride it. Front row to the back row. That's a different ride experience. Different times of days, that's a different ride experience. So, honestly, like if you're going based off of ride experience, every single ride is a different coaster credit. That's a good point there. So, Joe. Oh, yeah, I forgot you're still here. I need help. <laughs> I, I have a song stuck in my head. I can't. I, I need, I'm trying to find it out. I don't know. You don't know what the song is? No. Oh. <laughs> I I I saw it on TikTok one time, and it was like a, a cinematic video. It was like a dramatic song. It's not like it stuck in my head. But I want I need to know what the song name is. The only way I could help you is if you start singing it. Maybe. Da -da 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 -da. I don't know. <laughs> And I can't look at like my liked videos because it's it's I when I saw it it was a long time ago. So it's not like I could just get back to it. So false the powder keg is a new credit. Yeah, I count it as a new credit too. <laughs> I don't wanna I mean that's just too Forget much of a drastic change. You're going from a premier liquid coaster uh, to an SNS air launch coaster, and you're counting that as the same credit. How can you count that as the same credit? There's nothing there that's the same except one turn and a lift hill. That is so drastically changed that to me that counts as a new credit. It's so drastically different. Alright, I give up. That makes it the same, it's, but there's nothing really the same about it. That's my argument. What's the same about it, except for a turn and a lift hill? Like, like the entire ride is different. All right, I give up. Uh, I... I would love to do the Time Traveler cinematic video. I just got to I got to redo all the support or I got to do all the custom supports on it and stuff. So, it's not finished enough just or just yet, so that's why I haven't done it. Uh, but we're going to get there. Um, we're going to do all the I'm working on Thunderation and I'm thinking as much as I really dread on doing it, I'm thinking about redoing the track on 
Time Traveler and using the Copperhead Strike Track instead because I can get a little bit more accurate with how the track looks. So I'm kind of on the fence about it. I don't want to have to redo it, but I might. We have us all the powder keg. At what point? At what exact point does it flip? How much of buzzsaw would they have to keep for you to count it as the same credit? Um, a lot more than that. <laughs> I'll put it at that much. Um, if they would have just changed like one or two elements, I would probably. And it still has the same name. Like, why? Well, I guess name changes don't shouldn't count too much, really, but. Um, it, like, it just depends. That's the problem. It just depends. I couldn't tell you how much. I would have to see a layout and how much would change. Because if it was still a water coaster and they just added maybe a few sections, probably not. Or like if they made from some very slight changes or anything like that. The fact that it's a completely different coaster type actually kind of makes it for me there. Like, it's not even the same coaster type anymore. It's not a water coaster anymore. It's a, a compressed air launch coaster. It's a completely different coaster type. I don't know if that's good enough to call it a new credit. Like, or that's that maybe that's the definition. It's a completely new coaster type now. It's not even the same coaster type anymore. It was built by a completely different... A new company came in and completely... Basically, most of it's ground up. <laughs> Maybe that's the point I call it a new credit. That it's just that the fact that it's a new, a completely different coaster type. You know, that kind of makes sense. Because if you look at RMC conversions, yes, they reuse, uh, re recycle a lot of the supports, structure, and uh, footers and stuff. But it's a completely new coaster type now. So um, there's nothing there of the old ride that uh because you're still using parts of the old ride or sections you know like uh structure and stuff like that but um and it kind i wouldn't say it's completely the same as powder keg situation as an rmc conversion but um you know maybe that could classify it it's a completely new coaster type but then i kind of go back i was just about to say that the stand up to floorless is a different coaster type. However, the track hasn't changed at all. See, the, you, there's no way around it. You run into something else if you think you have it. Like, you run into that now. Because <laughs> the only thing... Yes, it's a new coaster type, but the only thing that's changed is the trains. Nothing else has changed. Like, there's no new elements. There's no... Like, it reuses... No, everything is recycled. Like, 100% of the ride has been recycled. Um, and just changed, uh, changed the trains. That's why I keep saying it depends <laughs> on the situation. Was Bus Off Falls a fun ride? I would imagine it was. I never got the chance to ride it, even though I grew up here, but I was too young at the time. I was only, uh, when Bus Off Falls opened, I was only five years old, so... <laughs> I wasn't really into riding rides at that young of an age, so. Oh, I keep up. But because that's why that's why I said it just depends. To me, it's coaster credits are so hard to be consistent. That's the problem with them. It's hard to be consistent. It's just, it's too much of a challenge to stay consistent. That's why I had to add, I have to add uh, different uh, specifications when it comes to like just changing the coaster train or just co changing the trains doesn't count. But like uh, when you change the coaster type completely and like for powder kegs and since like you're changing the track, not just the trains, but you're also changing the track as well. And you're just recycling a bit of the track from what was there before. RMCs, you're replacing all of the track, 
So that obviously that's an automatic thing right there. Um, but you're still recycling parts of the ride that came before it, but it's a new type. So when a when you go to um, floorless conversions, um, you're not changing any of the track. You're not you're you're using 100% of the same track that was there before. Um, you're just giving it different trains, which does create it as a new co a different coaster type, but it, you're just changing the trains themselves. I don't know if that makes any sense. <laughs> That's why I said it depends on the situation. Conversions are where you get a little bit, where it gets a little spotty. And you convert a, an old ride into something else. Would you rather have Buzzsaw or Powder Keg at SDC? Um, probably Powder Keg. Buzzsaw Falls looks like it was a fun ride, but there wasn't a whole lot to it. It started off kind of like a log flume. You're in this water section. You go up this mini lift. It goes around the turn, up the lift hill, and then you have a splashdown. That's it. So, like, it was a prototype, and... You know, Powder Keg... There's, uh, to me, there's just more... Uh, Powder Keg's probably a little more thrilling, and... <clears throat> As cool as Buzzsaw Falls was, I do think Powder Keg's probably the better ride. And again, I, I, I'm only doing that off speculation because, again, I never got to ride Buzzsaw Falls. But what I've seen of the layout, because I know what the layout was for Buzzsaw Falls, I don't think it was as exciting as Powder Keg or as thrilling. It was a really neat idea, but just wasn't executed enough and suffered from crazy amounts of downtime and it didn't work out, so. The great uh, coaster credit debate. Always fun. Uh, what defunct coaster anywhere in the world would you want to bring back? That is a really good question. Um, I... Probably Volcano, because I never got to ride Volcano, and I heard it was incredible, and it uh, really sucks that it. a lot of people are sad that that got removed. I would say Volcano, because that that's one of the defunct coasters that was universally loved by everyone, and that everyone was super sad to see go. And it was an actually a good coaster. It didn't get removed because it wasn't a good coaster. And that it wasn't popular. It was super popular. But it got removed because it was just too much of a pain for maintenance. And probably costed them too much to maintain. So. I'd probably say Volcano. The Blast Coaster at King's Dominion. Never been to King's Dominion. And I'm really sad that I never got to ride it. So. That's one of those, I guess I'll say, coaster regrets that I wish I would have gotten out there in time. <clears throat> for a little bit in my head, I was going to say Son of Beast. For one, I've heard Son of Beast wasn't actually that good. It was just a pain machine. <laughs> Son of Beast with the loop. And then once they took the loop out, it was just kind of like, what's the point of this coaster at this point? I mean, like a hyper wooden coaster? That's insane. I don't know if we'll ever see that again, but... But I would probably say, definitely say Volcano first. Because it was actually a universally loved ride. Son of Beast had its fans, but I think they only were big fans of it because of how big it was. And how crazy ridiculous the idea was of having a hyper uh wooden coaster maybe we'll see that again someday but i i don't think we will if we do if any company was to do it i think it would probably be rmc and they would use their steel structure to so they don't have to worry about structural issues so they would have that steel structure but the track would remain wood um but I'm not sure if it's going to happen because I feel like RMC is trying to get away from their topper track 
because I think they removed it from their website and and everything. They don't really advertise their topper track anymore. I don't know if uh, if a park came to RMC and said, "Hey, I want a topper track." Would they would they say uh, we're not really doing that anymore, or would they say, um, "You know what? Sure, if that's what you really want." <laughs> But I, like I said, I I do think they're pretty much done with topper track because they prefer the steel track uh, for sure because it's just easier overall for both sides. You know, it's easier to maintain for maintenance. It's smoother, and you get the basically the same ride experience except it stays smooth. It's easy on maintenance, and you know so. The only reason why you'd want topper track is just the marketability factor saying, oh, we have the tallest, fastest wood wooden coaster, you know, because it could break records, you know. It's just records, the marketing. That's all you would want it for. Would you honestly rather use that for marketing or would you rather have like a smoother, uh, less of a maintenance pain if you used the steel track? You know, you could still make the same layout, but use the use the steel track on it. You know, yes, you can't market it as the tallest, fastest wood coaster, but you know, you know, these hybrids are capable of obviously being over 200 feet. So you could easily make the tallest, fastest um, hybrid coaster. Man, we've got over, like, half of this turn done. That's what I really want to do, is I just want to get these stupid supports done, so I don't have to worry about them anymore. I think that will run. We'll get the Ibex conversion soon. I don't know if it'll be anytime soon, but I think eventually it will. Once it's not really relevant. Like, if it doesn't... I mean, it honestly, it doesn't really have any of its records anymore for wood coasters so i feel like they could easily do it at any point but i still think it's going to be a while before they do but i think it will happen eventually at least in maybe some seg sections that need it for instance like lightning rod used it on the problematic sections you know like maybe the first drop um, some of those high-speed turns and, and stuff like that, they might want to put it on there and then leave the rest of it wooden. You never know, though. Who knows? I know our maintenance crew said they they wish it would, they would just eye box it. <laughs> they said it would be so much easier on us. <laughs> But then SDC wouldn't have a wood coaster. I think SDC needs a nice classic wood coaster, like by Gravity Group or by GCI. That's something that we're missing. Good old classic Woody. It would fit really well at SDC. Just been to watch 20 of your episodes. Oh, wow, that's a lot. That's a lot of time. <laughs> you don't want Ibox Outlaw? I, I'm kind of like... It doesn't matter to me on it. Like, if they want to do it, sure. If they don't, it doesn't matter really too much. I like the wooden field too, but the GP hate it, so... The GP thinks it's the roughest thing in the world. Like, that's not a joke. The GP absolutely does not like Outlaw. That's why it never has a line. Even on busy days. We had 20,000... People last, like I think it was last Friday, the longest line we got at Outlaw was 15 minutes. And 20 plus thousand at SDC is a lot of people. It is, that's a super busy day. So you can count on Powder Keg having like an hour plus wait. You can count on Time Traveler having an hour plus wait. Outlaw run, 15 minutes. That just tells you, and I feel like the ridership is just going down more and more each year. 
Like, I, I feel like we're getting less and less busy at Outlaw each and every year. I saw another in and out t-shirt the other day at Silver Dollar City. Why would, there, why would I be seeing all these in and out t-shirts? I saw another one. Why do I keep seeing all these? If it's a Texas thing. Or a California thing. No, wait, was it? Was it in... Is there some in Texas too? I think you said there's Texas and California. <clears throat> Just saying. Just saying. I, I think that means it's confirmed. Missouri location confirmed. I'm just pointing that out. I know Texas got Whataburger. Whataburger. I have been there before. A few times I've been to Texas, I did get some Whataburger. Whataburger. I only went to Whataburger because there was literally, I kid you not, this isn't exaggerated. I'm pretty sure I saw one when I was in Texas. I saw a Whataburger like literally like every mile. And I, I'm serious, like we would go buy one and I'd be like, oh, there's a Whataburger. And then like a minute, maybe no more than two minutes would pass by and I'd be like, there's another one. And like the entire time we were on the road, I, I just kept seeing them like every few miles it seemed like and I was like holy crap how many how many do they have and now Whataburger's starting to make some Missouri locations I think now too because of Patrick Mahomes I think so and that was kind of its own marketing because I'm like okay there's so many of these things I have to try it that's basically what I said. It was, it worked on me. Like I was like, I wasn't going to go to eat at it. And I was, I told my parents at the time, cause I was still like in junior high or high school, I think early high school still. And I was like, Hey, can we stop at one of these places and eat here? I've seen like literally a hundred of them in the last 30 minutes. Can we, can we, can we eat at one of these? I want to see how it is. <laughs> I was like, if there's this many of them, surely it's got to be good. <laughs> Like, dang. <laughs> I'm trying to think of what, like, what do you see a lot in Missouri-wise? I'm not sure if Missouri really has, like, that uh, restaurant that is only in, that you can only find in Missouri that's not, like, local, but, like, it's just in the state. <clears throat> I mean, I remember it being pretty good. I mean, we have all your generic stuff that you see throughout everywhere freddy's uh are there not many freddy's around anywhere else can anybody confirm that we do have freddy's i do like freddy's a lot we have one in branson um i think there's one in springfield too probably you've only seen freddy's in missouri so maybe freddy's is our thing <clears throat> this auto saves kicking my butt though I do like Freddy's, though. They got frozen custard and, and stuff like that. Really, really good. There's a Freddy's in Texas. Oh, Silas, hopefully you didn't just start a whole new debate that there's a Freddy's in Texas and then there's not actually one in Texas. Now I'm curious. Now I'm going to look it up. Um, Freddy's frozen custard and steak burgers. Locations. Let's see what they have here. How many phrases? There's 450. There's one, uh, Georgia. There's a, a Freddy's in Georgia. Um, in Georgia. I don't know why that one just randomly popped up. Uh, Branson, of course, in the Branson Hills area. There's that one. 
Wikipedia. I guess their he headquarters are in Kansas, Wichita. Wichita, Kansas. So maybe there's a lot of uh, in Kansas, probably. Hot dogs, chicken sandwiches, frozen custard. I, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like it, it's in a lot of locations, though. I don't feel like it's just Missouri. <laughs> Texas has the most? Oh. Gotcha. What's up, Carlos? How's it going? Man, if I can get this whole turn done, I will feel pretty accomplished, because that's a, that's a lot. <laughs> and get this whole turn supported. Uh, lettuce wraps now. I don't know if I've really had any like lettuce wraps before. Uh, on that gluten intolerant. Ooh, gotcha. Ah, no, Silas, attack. There they are. It took them an hour to get here. I was wondering when they'd be here. <laughs> YouTube, get rid of the stupid bots, man. So freaking annoying. Oh, your cat's oh. doing good? That's good. Oh, yeah, Sluffy, you're still here. <laughs> oh, no. Get out of here, bot. How long ago did you're you buy it? Uh, you're, uh, you're probably about 30, 45 seconds late there. Uh oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, I still haven't found out the, the song. I'm still struggling to find it out. Oh. <laughs> I'm trying. Custom supporting is my fave. Wow. So much fun. Oh, wow. That, that would be fast. Broncos country, let's ride. Could fire Nathaniel Hackett if the team loses to the Jaguars in London. Is that their next game? or? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Wow. To be fair, they kind of need to change. They're not riding very far. Wow. You know, they've lost four straight. Broncos country? That's uh... right. I actually, I still can't believe that they're starting Sam Ellinger over Nick Foles. Marcos Country, let's cry. <laughs> See, being a Chiefs fan, I'm okay with it. Okay. <laughs> How about that um, Chiefs 49ers game? Uh -huh. I could not see it. I was at work. Oh, well, I'm sure you're happy you didn't. <laughs> Okay, well, that tells me everything yeah. I need to know. Was it 44 to 23? Do know, <laughs> um, what I do know, though, is that I watched the Panthers beat Brady. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, I also know that the Panthers are actually only one game out of first place in the division. <laughs> and they're maybe, a tanking maybe. team. Maybe that's what they needed, was to fire Matt Rule and get rid of Christian McCaffrey. That was the issue right there. And Robbie. 
<laughs> Don't forget about Robbie Anderson. Oh yeah, oh, Robbie Anderson. Phil Snow. And now, now they're winning the Super Bowl. They really are the NFC East 2.0 because not a single team is over 500. Oh, yeah, There's now, 500, at least 500. Now, not one Coaster team. Gnome. All right, see ya. Gotta go to school and be responsible and stuff. Yeah, go be responsible. Imagine. <laughs> We'll be responsible. At least SDC is open today. It's a Monday. Why? <laughs> Tell me how that makes sense. I have the day off, but like, how does that make sense? What? Gotta make it through one more week of pumpkins. Just one more. Uh. <laughs> What's up, Matthew? Should I be at work like you? No, I should be. Uh, yes, you should. Should be working on roller coasters. One, Does Christmas start for SEC November 4th? I think. I think it's November 4th, something like that. I mean, technically, I'm working on, on SDC, so I'm working. All right, see ya, Matthew. See you later, buddy. I feel like this turn is taking forever. Should I do anything fun for uh, Halloween on the channel? Something scary? Spooky? decide to play Sweet Caroline instead of its own soundtrack. Well, I mean, it's got multiple songs, and it plays during the pumpkins in the city. It's during the pumpkin stuff. That plays throughout the park. And they change it at around 5.30 every night. It plays its normal music in the morning all the way to about 5.30, and then they switch it to the pumpkin music in around 5.30 or so. I don't know who made the soundtrack, but none of it, most of it doesn't make any sense. Why doesn't my advance rotate? Oh, okay. Why doesn't it rotate smoothly like that? I guess I don't know what you mean by smoothly. <clears throat> I 
working on 12 and 19. Oh, variety might be uh, Carowinds. You just hold it and, and move it gently. Oh, you probably have angle snap on this little guy right here. So make sure on your settings that you uncheck angle snap. If you have it on angle snap, it'll snap it like that. So make, right. sure, you, make sure you uncheck this box under, box under angle snap under your settings here. Uh, is it the 12th and 19th of November? I would assume so, but I don't know at this point. Um, okay, November. One of those days. Um, considering that I am full time, yeah, I kind of have to be there. <laughs> Sounds like a supervisor position is opening up at SDC. You know what? I'm. Could take that up. <laughs> I'm thinking about applying we'll for it, but we'll see. We'll, we'll but, see. I, I yeah. don't know. But the reason why it's How's opening the up, there? The reason why it's opening up is uh, someone is leaving, and I wasn't expecting it. When's uh? I have what's heard, the pay over there? I've heard that Steve is leaving. Wait, Steve's leaving? Yeah, he's gonna go back home to Holland. From what I've heard. Oh. So he's like, he's leaving the U.S. I'm going back to Holland. Oh, we, hey, we have to play Fall Guys with him before he leaves. Well, I'm sure he'll still play games with us and stuff. Oh, okay. Well, I, well but he's, he's all, just he's Think just about leaving. that time change, though. I think he's just leaving the park, so. So he won't be, so the supervisor spot's going to open back up, or open up. And you know what rides he has? <laughs> Got time traveler, but <laughs> which I would absolutely love. Okay, where do I apply? <laughs> um, what other ones does he have? I know he's mainly got coasters, so I think he's got time traveler thunderation. I think. I want to say there's one other. Is it wildfire? Is it? Might be wildfire. Then Joe can interview and hire people if if I was if I was to get that. <laughs> I don't think I would be able to, but I'm gonna try anyways. Well, like I said, what's the pay what's the pay I would have to I have no clue. It's probably salary. The supervisors are oh. salary. <laughs> so they like make sure they don't go over 40 because they always make the same amount every pay period oh if oh if supervisors were salary over here <laughs> oh my so you're so what you're telling me is that if i'm a supervisor over there i am already like the same or if not a higher uh rank at Carowinds than the area managers over here. <laughs> yeah, I think we're going to try for it. However, I don't think I'm going to get it. Because of the interviews I'm going to have to go through with the people that I have to interview with. I might have to interview with a certain manager. Uh, mm -hmm. So, I don't think it's likely I'll get it, but i got to put my name in there, so. Yeah. To let them know that I'm interested. And then we can we can overthrow him. 
Or you say it like and that. I can, <laughs> and I can rule SDC. That was fast. <laughs> just gonna, we're just gonna over overthrow and rule everybody. That was that was a very fast, um, a very fast thought. <laughs> so, Joe, why do you want this job? Um, I want to overthrow and rule all of you. <laughs> oh, Silas, your deadline is tomorrow. We should have said that. Earlier. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I, forgot to, I forgot to tell you the deadline's tomorrow, and the park's closed tomorrow. So <laughs> technically, it's today. <laughs> but I'm all. But you're also. But we're also not the park to actually get this to be proven. So you know. To, mm. <laughs> the day he uh actually gets it is well, the day Silas is the day I'm gonna retire that park, so it won't matter. Silas, you say yourself <laughs> that there's a deadline. So it's not I don't know what you're saying because you said there's a deadline. So Silas, this is you, on you. <laughs> Almost made it all the way through here. This Yeah, that's what we're saying. You said that there wasn't a deadline. So, but what if Joe applies for it tomorrow and gets the job tomorrow? Then that's your deadline. I, it's I, the same. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not sure if Steve's like gonna finish the season yet or what's going on. So I'm gonna actually ask Laramie when I remember and ask him like, "Hey, is this actually happening?" And when is it happening? Silas, you have to pay for Variety's ticket. Silas, you have to pay for Variety to come out there. That's He's not going to use his own money just to do your imaginary thing. That's never going to work. Honestly, I should go on the website and see, you know, keep an eye on the employee openings. <laughs> no, that won't cover it, Silas. <laughs> Two flights from here to Springfield. Oh, uh, yeah, I was I was switching up some tickets from here to Springfield. It's like 700 bucks. So with that being said, Joe, I'm not going to be able to come out this year. Aww. I'll have to be out there next year. Yeah, just because it's like 700 bucks, I'm not really <laughs> entertaining that idea. <laughs> this is why I've got a American Airlines credit card so I can earn miles and get free flights. Well, I always fly Southwest because it's like... It's it's usually pretty cheap, so doesn't matter to me as long as I get free flights. <laughs> <laughs> when I applied for it, they gave me sixty five thousand miles, so it's a lot of miles to start out with. And I already have like eighty thousand now, so ever since I've gotten it. So I've already put on like 15,000 miles on it already or so. <clears throat> so Christmas time is coming up and I'm buying my family remove the trim shirts. 
Wait, what? Kyle says he's just gonna buy his whole family the remove the trim shirts. Maybe yeah, just, but you want to show. spend that much money. I mean, <laughs> but also, Silas, remember your deadline is tomorrow. <laughs> oh yeah, shipping. So. <laughs> All right, Joe. The best I could do is fly to St. Louis. <laughs> <laughs> then it's all you from there. <laughs> oh, wait. No, I'm stupid. That's right. I was thinking about driving it. Oh, yeah, that's different. Never mind. <laughs> but, oh, but also, the, what's the guys' what's the gas price over there? Um, it's usually around three forty nine ish right now. About average. Wait, forty nine dollars. What? Wait, what? Forty nine dollars. Three dollars and forty nine cents a gallon around there. Wait, thirty. Wait, what? Three dollars and forty nine cents. <laughs> <laughs> I'm struggling. <laughs> uh, so pr I probably don't want to do that. I was like, it was like almost five dollars at one point. Well, hmm. What if I fly out to Kansas City? Actually, what would be closer for you, Kansas City or St. Louis? Um, I'm not sure which one's actually or closer. Tulsa. Or Little Rock. Only three thirty out from Oh, I'll fly to Orlando and have Joe. Would you pick me up in Orlando? Orlando, that's like seventeen hours. I don't know. It's it's Silas's idea, so that that's that's, that that, that's a all. longer drive than just driving from where you're at, probably. <laughs> it is. <laughs> well, actually, no. Orlando's only eight hours. I was like, I could probably drive to where you're at in like fourteen four, hours. Yeah, fourteen hours. Orlando's like a seventeen-hour drive from here. That way we both get to go to Universal and STC. What? Yeah, but then that means that Joe has to drive another 17 hours. <laughs> hmm. What parks are going to be open? Or Six Flags? No, Six Flags first. Which is stupid. I would love to go back to Universal. Danger <laughs> zone. Trying to take a walk to the date. Copyright DMCA. What? <laughs> yeah, because I got, I got three days of vacation time. And one day is sick time. So I kind of have to, I guess, play it a little smart here. Um, especially now that we are only two months away from the end of 2020. Oh my god, we're only two months away from the end of 2022. <laughs> wow. 
<laughs> oh, I can go back to King's Dominion. Is King's Island year round now? What? Is, is, isn't King's Island year round? Or no? Year round? No. I don't think they are. I know a bunch of Cedar Fair Parks got year round this year. Uh, Great America, Carolines, King's Dominion, and Knots are all year round. Which I'm actually really, really surprised about King's Dominion because they get snow over there and we get snow here. So I'm surprised by that. My food's picked up. Yeah. <laughs> wow, I've gotten so much custom supporting done today. I'm not going to ride the SPF V soon. Uh -huh. Oh, that's why I need to. Okay. You just came two days ago, and I learned how to smooth thanks to you. But I really want to make a cool sci-fi park, but I don't know how. <clears throat> Me neither. <laughs> Yeah, I haven't done too much sci-fi stuff. Time City. <laughs> the most I've done was Time City. <laughs> um, I mean, are there really many sci-fi parks out there, and just in general, like an actual world that you could get inspiration off? Tomorrowland. What? What? <laughs> Tomorrowland. Yeah. What about yeah, tomorrow, man? Why do you want to join this VC for the last sixty seconds of the stream? <laughs> What's that no, gonna... you will not become a mod. I let you for the whole thing when we uh, do burnt banana. Yeah, that should be good enough. <laughs> the burnt banana. I should make a ride named the burnt banana. Hey Joe, uh, when we did that community park, did you ever finish the parking lot? You mean the old old? Or not? I mean, I mean not community park, uh, but whip. You remember whip? Yes, that's what the I one was I referring. got maybe through three episodes. <laughs> Rest in peace, Swan. I don't. Well, if, we, if I did much on it. Puzzle game. Platoon. All right. 
think we're gonna cog. I usually don't do this much work on this. So. All good, at least for this spot for now, for a little bit. My reaction to some things. I found the fans. Fans. Yeah, I run. You've got we've got fans in the Emporium. Emporium. And not connected pathing. <laughs> I forgot what we actually call this. Did we call it anything besides whip? I think we had a name for it. Okay, I'm going to stop the uh, support building right there for now. That's a lot of work. <laughs> Ooh, I think we have more of it done than what we have left, so that's good. We just got... The tunnel, lift hill, that final drop and turn, and boom. Thunderation will have all its uh, oh, support wow. structures. Uh, of course, we have a little bit extra to do because we still have, we have to edit some of these structures to go all the way down like that. We got to do footers, and then we still have to do the little metal support that comes, comes through it as well, which is also going to be a pain in the butt. Um, but... At least we're getting some stuff done. Let's see what how it looks so far. <clears throat> I did see the Ant Man three trailer. I didn't realize it was as close as it is. That all turned out pretty good. Ah, here we go again. Auto save? No, bots. Oh, the bots. <laughs> Already. I, I, I was like, oh, it looks, you said, oh, it looks great. So I'm like, oh, okay, let me see what you talked about. And then I see on the side, like, all the bots. <laughs> Thunderation or Adventure Express? I'd say Thunderation. I've only been on Adventure Express once. But I'd say Thunderation's a little better. Oh my god. Why does the front entrance look so good for you? Like, let me just do a control C, control B. Oh my god. Um, can we go ahead and uh, yell at Gunner, please? Why? He used the wrong path coverings. <laughs> Got her! Yes. Yeah. 
Oh, Joe, how would how are you uh, feeling after Aaron Jones had a twenty point game and Chris McCaffrey had a six point game? Well, hopefully uh, that's good signs to come. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got some good news on my on my side. Um, Cordell Patterson was supposed to be returning in week 10 or is projected to return in week 10 or like week 9 or 10 so that's that's like almost perfect for me gonna start calling it Thunder Nation why? that doesn't even sound like a coaster name I don't know why people call it Thunder Nation <clears throat> clearance issues no Silas you're a clearance issue <laughs> Oh, has uh, Gunner gave you RRB back yet? No, I don't think he has. He said he was going to, but I don't think he ever did. <laughs> See, I told you, it's a dead project. <laughs> Let me take his place. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll give it back that Six Flags charm. Six Flags. Six Flags Red River Valley. That is a god awful name. <laughs> oh wow, see that? That's fast! That's cool. It's like right. It's like five minutes old already. That was fast. I wish we could change uh, the trains to be di each train to be different colors. Because Thunderation, yes. Thunderation has a green train and a red train, so. Oh my god, I would love if we could have, if we could just do like a, uh, like a red train, blue train type of thing. Like, you know, obviously much more than that, but you know what I mean. Blanco 2, please. <laughs> please do it. Do it Blanco 2, electric boogaloo. <laughs> Imagine if you could name the trains too. Welcome back, train two. How are you? Walk back, train three. How are we? I don't know, train one. It's field though. <laughs> Welcome back, train one. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we used to use, name uh, Outlaw Runs trains. Train one was Bullet, and then train two was Bronco. We aren't themes here. Actually. Those aren't official. We just gave them those names. Oh. <laughs> Welcome back, Bronco Train. Bronco's Country. Let's ride. Dang, Red River Valley. I forget how long Red River Valley took to uh, load up. <laughs> what about trading on the jet fun? Well, it could be. Maybe. Oh, no. Favorite wave turns I've ever built. <laughs> that shaping. Whew. And one of my favorite rolls that I've ever made, too. Look at that. That's beautiful. The ride's beautiful, too. I 
I think I used on the custom supports I made. I think I used uh, the haunted pillars. They're the skinniest wood post that they're. Yeah, it's the haunted pillars. Yeah, the haunted house pillars, four meters. So it's in the spooky pack. Gotta have the spooky pack for that. But I think they're the best for uh, making custom wood supports. So. Did those there, and I did these ones here. Because the in game supports do it backwards. It puts the wide supports on the inside instead of the outside. And I needed the wide supports to be on the outside instead, so. And some of my most proud wooden coaster supports, custom supports I've ever done, I think. Like. These are legit. <laughs> Took some time, but it was worth it. They turned out so good. Like you wouldn't even couldn't even tell. Like they look so natural. They fit right in. See the transition to the auto generated right there from the custom. There and then right here and here. Those differences. Ooh, I should add the green uh the green uh lights. What's up, meme squad? Should add the green uh floodlights that they put in this year. Mystic River Falls. Or as we like to call it, Mystic River Fails. Y'all like Mystic River Fails? Fails a lot. <laughs> a ninety five foot tall loop. Did you hear that? A ninety five foot tall loop. Biggest time jump yet. All you have to do is dream big. Do good. A 95 what? foot tall loop. Anyways, that's gonna make me definite again. <laughs> Nine five. A ninety-five foot tall loop. Coaster Studios. No, that has been a meme before. Coaster Studios started doing that. <laughs> Ever since that announcement start happened, <laughs> I was actually laughing when the, when I first heard the announcement for the first time because employees got to hear it for the first time. And I'm just like, what's with this ninety-five foot tall loop stuff? <laughs> like. Calm down. I get it. It's 95 feet. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, 
I'm like, you didn't have the budget to go an extra five feet to make it a hundred foot loop. That would have been more satisfying. <laughs> yeah, I forgot I did custom audio for Firefall. Fireman Landing. Ba da ba na ba na ba 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 da 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 ba da 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 da. Oh yeah, I got a good view of the the new construction going back here too, because they drop, so for the busy days, they have us park like two miles away, and then they drop us off in the back here, and we drive right past the construction, and they have a gate wide open where you can see the whole new plaza going in, um, so they have like the facade on the corner right here, and then there's like another opening right here, you can kind of see where the queue lines or like the entrance is going to be and it almost looks like they have an exit that goes through a gift shop i'm not entirely sure that's kind of what it appears to me and uh, they have a really big facade that they're working on here that they really haven't touched in a while it doesn't look like they've been doing a whole lot of work on it lately unless they're working a lot on the inside maybe um but i think they're going to do facades on the whole side here because they have that really tall one that is just a skeleton right now but they haven't really done much to it and uh, I'd imagine they're going to try and cover up the ugly building with facades and such. That's my guess of what's going to happen there. <clears throat> so, yeah. You're Jake, by the way? All right. We've got the Coaster Creations. Yeah, it seems like construction's kind of stalled out for the last few weeks. They haven't really, I haven't really seen much progress since then. But if it is opening in 2024, I'd imagine they're going to do most of the track work next season, or maybe at the start of the off season. Um, I don't know. I have strong suspicions that it might open up like at some point next year, just not at the beginning of the year. <clears throat> I'm not sure. That's what I always thought. I always thought they would do the track before putting the building together, but so surely they'll put the track in next. But I was expecting them to maybe build the track and then build the building around it. But cuz I feel like that would no. be easier. What? You know who I forgot about? Uh and who we have to start giving credit to? Adam Gase. Because oh, yeah. everyone thought that he was the worst coach until that day came out. That being said, Adam Gase still has not gotten a win in his career. <laughs> Life is simple when you're working real hard. Is that true? Am 
Life is simple on a farm. Life is simple on a farm. Life is simple on a farm. Bum bum. Life is simple when you're working real hard. <clears throat> on the farm. Life is simple on a farm. Life is simple on a farm. Life is simple on a farm. Bum bum. Life is simple on a farm. Life is simple on a farm. Life is simple on a farm. Bum bum. What am I singing? Life is simple on a farm. It used to play at the, um, used to play at the giant swing, but uh, they stopped playing it like last year or so. Oh, that's just the iPhone 14 that has the stupid crash detection. Silver Dark City has had that issue multiple times already. We've got 911 called multiple times. I've even seen people get off of Outlaw Run, like on the phone with 911, like, oh no, oh crap. <laughs> like, bro. They did not think this out thoroughly when they made that feature, did they? <laughs> Did they not realize roller coasters have pretty high forces? <laughs> I understand what they're trying to do, but it's kind of an issue for theme parks, and I'm sure theme parks don't appreciate having 911 called multiple times a day. You know, even if we make announcements, people aren't going to listen. They're going to do it anyways, so... It's just going to be an issue. It goes a little fast than the real thing. We might actually have to, you know, make those uh, trims a little more effective. I'm not joking, like... We need to slow down the trains a little bit to be more realistic to the real thing. Because it does seem to whip through that Cobra roll a little bit faster than it should. The trims are already there, Silas. I just need to adjust them so they actually slow the train down a little more. I have to add trims because the real ride has trims. Wildfire has trims. That one's fine. I think it's this one we might have to adjust. You can see how fast it goes through this cover roll. Not by much. Just a little bit. What is it at right? What are the settings on it right now? To be fair, it's actually friction brakes, so. Just so you know. I'm going to turn the deacceleration up just by one. But technically, it's a friction brake and not a trim. Because the friction brakes can be smaller, and that's and the trim brakes have to be bigger for some reason, so it's really weird. It shouldn't valley. I barely even adjusted it. <laughs> what was up, Blizzard? How's it going? How's it going? Good. Oh, yeah. I keep forgetting you're there because you get quiet for so long. <laughs> <laughs> That's the food.
Anyways, back to larking. <laughs> okay. Probably start custom supporting this soon. Did anything? I think that did a little bit, not much. But... Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Good day, glad to have something to watch. Glad to have you here, of course. How long has this project been going for? You better hurry up and finish it before they add something new. You mean something like Planet Coaster 2? <laughs> uh, I've been working on this project since 2016. Um, now, if I would have continuously been working on it, I would have had it done a long time ago, but I had long periods of time where I didn't work on it, so, um, that's why we are where we're at. <laughs> How long have you been subscribed? Sweet. you imagine just the slightest imagination here if they allow us to port over stuff to planet coaster part port parks over to planet coaster 2 it would still be saved now it depends how close I'm, if i'm like really close to finishing it and planet coaster releases i think i would go back in and just finish it real quick like uh if i had just a little bit to do like if i just have one area left to work on I think I might actually finish it. Like, I wouldn't leave it hanging being so close, you know? And I don't think you realize how, li how, how close we actually are. Like, it's hard to tell because we haven't filled in the whole world, but that's mostly because we haven't filled the whole area with trees yet. Once you start filling it in with trees, it starts looking a lot more completed. So if we go through here, once I'm done with Thunderation... We just need to work on... I'm going to work on the station building, of course, a little bit, since it's kind of very raw and hasn't uh, used much there. We're going to finish up this little plaza here, finish all this up, um, which won't take long, maybe an episode or so, um, at least in this area. And I'll probably... Again, I'll probably spend a whole air, another few episodes on supporting and... Um, footers and, and stuff like that, and just environment and stuff... And then um, we'll uh, probably spend a whole episode or two on the station and queue and everything. And then next episode we'll do all that. And uh, then we're just going to clean up this area a little bit and get it kind of more in a finished state uh, and everything like that. Once we're completely done with the time traveling <coughs> Thunderation area, uh, of course I'm going to have to redo or do all of Thunder time travelers supports and, and stuff like that. That'll take some time. And then um, once we're all done with that, we'll kind of move down here, finish up Flooded Mine and all that, that fun stuff. Then I think I'm going to go back over into Grand Exposition. That's going to take a little bit of time. Um, I, at least I already got it started, so hopefully it won't take as long as I'm thinking. Um, we'll close up the Red Gold Heritage Hall. Um, but hopefully this won't take as long as I hope, or as long as I'm thinking. And then we'll work our way down this pathway, finish up these buildings here, which hopefully won't take too long. Um, and then we got to do Fireman's Landing, which, uh, again, we've started on, but really haven't done much with. Uh, this is really the, the bulk of the area that hasn't been worked on, is Fireman's Landing and all of this going up into Rivertown. 
And after I get all that finished, I do plan on finishing up uh, uh, Mystic River Falls, which hopefully won't take too much more because we got a lot of it done. So um, then we'll go through River Town, and then hopefully I'll work on uh, River Blast, maybe if I feel like it. Um, and once we got River Blast done, um, Outlaw Run and Giant Swings pretty much, pretty much done. Might do some touch-ups there, but uh, that already been another hour. Geez, already on auto save again. But then we'll head back over towards the powder keg area, finish all lit, um, wildfire and American plunge. We'll head up Hill Street. Uh, we'll do the finishing touches in Midtown and all that stuff. Um, I know it sounds like a lot on paper with me going through through all this, but. You know, if I uh, if I stay consistent and keep working, it it will it will fly by, just fly by there. So, because <clears throat> if the rumors are true, I have in about another year or so uh, to to get this done. So, um. My goal is to get it done before Plan Code 2. So once we get that official release date, I'm going to be like, oh, crap, I need to get this done. <laughs> but we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, looks like it's done now. So yeah, we'll go back here, work on powder kegs and stuff, and the opera house, and which a lot of this has been done. It's mostly just polishing at this point. Don't have to worry about this area since it is under construction. Maybe, but actually, by the time we get to it, it'll probably be all done. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I guess we'll see. So, yeah, but if you zoom out, there's a lot of population in all the areas, so everything's populated. Have I considered a 24 hour stream? I don't I don't know if I'm going to or not. Alright, where are we at on footers? We're way back here, that's where we're at. I'm gonna get a, a early start on getting some of these done. Just a little early start on them. Black up the lift. Now I don't think footers will be too as bad as everything else, so but I do kinda wanna get a Head start on. We're gonna get a little bit of a head start on them here. At least get them rolling, going here. <laughs> Life is so. A lot of farms stuck in your head. You're welcome. <laughs> I 
This is before we had scenery groups. That's why there's a block underneath each one of these. Uh, if I do finish it in a good amount of time, I will have updates probably on trying to work on the um, optimization of the park a little bit because obviously you're going to need a high-end PC for this to run smooth, at least somewhat smooth. For this park to run somewhat smooth on your PC. So, like, uh, I'm going to try... Billy. I'm going to try and remove a lot of unnecessary scenery pieces. So, like, anything that's, like, hidden in the ground and stuff like that. And then update the park and hopefully that helps out a lot, a little bit. So it doesn't have to load as much stuff. We'll see. Hey, Joe. Yeah. Can I, uh, control C, control V on the open sky preset, uh, for the shaders? Open sky what? <clears throat> on the, uh, like the shader looking things, the, the reshade, that's what it's called. The open sky reshade settings. Sky reshade. Yeah. Um... I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, can you also tell Darren that he finished the ride fencing? What? Darren didn't finish the ride fencing either. The ride fencing? Yeah, for uh, the Torbian. He finished everything else in the area. Just... Not that. No? I'm confused of what you're still talking about. <laughs> no, her RV. Our RV. Yeah. He also didn't finish his supports for, uh, to the, uh, the curse flower. I can't fish the support for that either. Man, Gunner, there's a lot of things that you need to do. Uh, Taco Bell. <laughs> yeah. That he never finished? <clears throat> nope, it's... It doesn't have a roof. Nope. I'll just move along quite faster because I don't have to do every single cross die. I'm just. Well, it would be a Speed a little, a little faster on this. Just remember, I'm in the background. <laughs> My store is in the back. <laughs> it's closed! He, it, there's a close sign. I forgot there's a close sign on it. Oh, Fluffy's. <laughs> Triple down gifts. Triple down gifts. Yeah. Tri tri triple down. I might, Joe, I might need to fix your, uh, your RMC layout. Oh, I got a store for you, Silas. Silas's trimmed gifts. <laughs> 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 or something along those lines. It's funny because there's actually trims on the coaster. <laughs> You know what's happening, Silas. You know what's happening. If you want your own store, that's gonna happen. <laughs> it's the same. I did the same thing with Gunner, so don't think that it's just you. I did the same thing with Gunner. He hates greasy pizza, so I was like, well, I'm making a pizza shop called Gunner's Greasy Pizza. <laughs> so 
So he's and it's right here. Oh, um, <laughs> Joe. Um, half of the store is closed. Oh, I know. For some reason, Gunner made like all the shops closed or out of order. Or... <laughs> I like his smoking section over by Skyhawk. Because he just made a gi giant cloud of smoke there, too. Uh. <laughs> I didn't realize the name of the, um, of one of the coasters. Uh, dumb, stupid, annoying family ghost. Is that what it's called? <laughs> yeah. Uh, can Gunner's Greasy Pizza from RIV become the Johnny Rockets of the Wendelverse? There's greasy pizza. Yeah, I'm all for it. Silas's shop is going to sell trim brakes. That's it. That just just <laughs> trim. <laughs> he supports them. <laughs> he knows it. He confessed to it. <laughs> Never been to Johnny Rock. I've been to a few, I think. <laughs> Is that? I don't know, I can't tell. I think it is. I'm gonna have to destroy one of uh, I'm gonna have to destroy some scenery in order to figure out if uh Uh oh. Or if, huh? Uh oh. I'll control C control I'll I'll redo it later. <laughs> I just need to see how he did this effect. That's all. You didn't confess anything? You literally said on Fluffy Stream, I have a confession. I added trims to one of my coasters. Wait, so you can't say you didn't confess to anything. You actually did. You even said, I have a confession. <laughs> I have some graffiti that says, save the trims. A mistake. <laughs> okay, that's what I thought. All right. See, and I didn't mess anything up. You're welcome. Okay, Silas, we know the truth. You don't have to hide it anymore. Yes, he does. Yes, he does, though. Okay, really quick. Wooden column. Honestly, that's so explanatory. Oh, auto save already? Oh god, not an RRV. No, it's gonna take a year. Joel will be back in a year. <laughs> what? Um, uh, it's auto saving an RRV, which means that it's gonna take a hot minute. Uh, oh, we're back. Oh. Oh. 
Didn't know it was as simple as that. And Joe, you said that Gunner was the one who put the extended queue in for Goliath? Yes. He's been working on the queue. It's the extended. <laughs> and he cut off Bill. <clears throat> Bill's gone. I blame Silas. Uh, Silas, yeah, I blame Silas. Because we think you like trims, you confess that you did. You added them, so you must like them. Hate this, I hate this, I yeah, hate this. You made a mistake by confessing that you use trims. <laughs> I wish I could copy and paste in Planet Coaster. Zoot's balloons. Balloon, a balloon, uh, stall. Maybe an RRV, yeah. Alright. That's a good start for now. Just, uh, I'm butters. just... I'm just taking into consideration how much money, realistically, would RRV costs? Uh, least, like, just to make. At least $500. <laughs> at, at least. And Joe, you still have clearance issues on your way. I also noticed I just missed a plank on... One plank. Oh no, whatever shall you do? The beginning of the supports. <laughs> Some of them need to be adjusted anyways. Yeah, wildfire's trims only trigger if the train's traveling fast. Too fast. Okay, first off, that element is going to be interesting. <clears throat> is that an inversion or no? I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, Joe. What? Don't know. If, I don't think you know what I'm talking about it yet. But there's a element on a ride. I don't, is it? I don't know if it's that same version. It looks like a wave turn. That's all I'll say. To avoid spoiling it, but I don't know if this is a person. I need help. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I don't want to say too much without giving it away. <laughs> it, it's on your RMC that it's like super. Thanks. New addition to the trick track triple down. No. Trick track triple down. Ah. 
Não! Wait, that's not what I was looking for. Oh, I found shrooms on the RMZ! Uh, they're just before the trick track triple down, so that way, you know, you don't die. <laughs> or to see me. Trick track triple down. Anyways, I'm gonna get off of our B before. Want to save stuff to blueprint and then to put it into my parts. <laughs> Ooh. It's been a hot minute since I've gone into the capital thrills parts, so I should probably do that. Uh, I, think like gonna, other parts. I think I'm gonna head off for for now, at least for now. Yeah, he's not off. I'm saving him. <laughs> <laughs> so, lots of stuff coming soon, though. Lots of stuff coming soon. None of which is, uh, you know. But yeah. That's besides. <laughs> so, I hope you guys enjoyed. This progress we made on Silver Dollar City on the Thunderation supports. Hopefully we'll be getting it done real, real soon. So I'm going to try and get, get back into it soon. The, my priorities is this and the Wendelverse Park right now. So um, I hope you had fun. Wow, that's going great, isn't it? Yeah, I've been going back and forth between the two. Wow. Have you, though? Yeah. Have you though? How how's your how far along are you? Almost done with your Wendelverse Park? Are you getting close to <laughs> almost done? Are you gonna make the deadline? oh, you're funny, <laughs> you're funny. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but all right, guys, I'm gonna head off the stream for now. Um, we might go live again later today. If not, uh, we'll probably be back tomorrow. I'm off again tomorrow, so um, should have lots of free time for then as well. So, but thank you guys so much for joining. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you have a great day and an even cooler tomorrow. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.